Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna. This is Sugar Cookie Chapstick. This channel I call the Crazy Troll Nation. And I'll let you know why. First though, how this video is going to go is I'm just going to do a base face. But I'm not going to tell you what the names of the brands are. Because it's not about the brand. It's just about me trying not to slur my words. It's about just using whatever you want to use. And I and I do know a lot of times we get caught up feeling like we, we need to use a certain thing and we don't and so we're going to do a face and i'm just going to chit chat about the face and different things that we are doing and yeah so what is the crazy troll nation of youtube the crazy troll nation is if you do videos have fun doing your videos also enjoying the channels that you watch if you don't do videos still just enjoying the channels that you watch and i meant to do my brows first and that was going to be my first question is do you do your brows before or after you do your base face? Or at least before your eyeshadow look. Because I find that for me, I didn't finish the intro. <laughs> so I told you what the crazy was. And this is a perfect example of the crazy. How I just start to digress and talk about something other than what I was saying. <laughs> the troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. Wear whatever you want to wear, however you want to wear it. Use whatever tool, use whatever technique, and just rock it. Validate yourself. Here it is about self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features. Enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never feeling like you have to. So that is the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. Enjoying what you do. The troll part is rocking what you want to. Because people may lead you to believe you need to use a certain thing, do things a certain way. And if you don't, your makeup is going to be busted. Listen, you're good and grown if you're watching me. Do what you want to do and just be confident in it. Love yourself for who you are and for how you look, even without face paint on. That is the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. You're going to know what this is because you're going to see it. I'm going to do my brows. <laughs> I find that if I don't do my brows first, sometimes I kind of almost forget. And I do see videos where some people do their brows after their eyeshadow look. But for me, because I overplucked, to try to get the arch the same because <laughs> my brows were you know different and so i over plucked kind of to the same place so that i can try and get the tail the same but still one is up higher this side goes up higher than this side and this side has i think it's this side i can't even tell has a more prominent peak and so i tried to get it to where i can at least try to get them to look like crosstown neighbors and so even with the overplucking, which I don't recommend, if I can go back in time, I I would like to think I wouldn't have, but who knows. So, and also doing my brows, I do the tails first. If I had hair here, then it wouldn't matter. And when I have tried just filling in here and coming down, the shapes were just so different because even looking at my brows right now, the shapes are very different. This one tapers off and it stops like right here. And when I do my brows according to the inside shape, this shape, this side is just like a straight cut down where this side kind of curves down. And this side is closer to, there's less area right here versus this side. And this one is here, but this one is over here. So my brows are definitely two different shapes you know they start and stop different places this this side stops sharp this side curves so it, it is challenging for me to do my brows and if i can just get them to look like they belong on my face then i am content with that i do keep a brow pencil in my bathroom and so if i know i'm going to do an eye look that day after i do my skincare I will just go ahead and do my brows because the brows sometimes takes the longest for me to do. And even though it's not going to seem that long, it's going to seem a little longer right now because I'm talking through it, but it really doesn't maybe like two or three minutes, which in makeup time is a long time. And so you see how I draw the brows with the tail first to try to get it to look the same. And I try and get the arch in the same place. And then I go along just the top edge and fill in. I don't use concealer to carve out my brows and all of that because I do just kind of want to, I want them to kind of just look natural. You know what I mean? And the challenge is 
because this one just stopped so sharp I've been working on not getting it to look so sharp like where it stops because again this one curves and when I try to get this one to look sharp this edge or if I try to curve this one it does not <laughs> look right and the more I try the more they don't look remotely the same and so I've been working on just leaving the inside part just a little more undone and just letting it look like how it is and that's what the intro is and so even though I, I, I talk a good game <laughs> you know do whatever you want to do self-acceptance self-love I do want my face to be evened out and I do want my brows to look like they're on the same face and so even with accepting features you know enhance you know, embrace your natural features, enhance them if you want to, when you want to. And I don't always do my brows. Sometimes when I do a base face, I don't do my brows at all. Um, so it's really just if I'm doing an eyeshadow look, I'll do my brows because they do help to frame my eye area, especially because I have no hair from here to here. You know what I mean? And so I'm saying all of this and doing this, but you do not at all have to even do your brows and I've seen some channels they don't do their brows at all but their brows look amazing <laughs> as they are and I'm like oh I wish that was me but then I don't wish it was me because my facial features are what they are but there is a freedom in not doing your brows there's a freedom in not doing excuse me every single step says the one who puts on like seven eyeshadows for one look and so I'm going to leave this one like this, I say, as I keep messing with it. And I do know that some people use two different brow pencils. They'll use a lighter color here and a darker color here. And you can see how, because there's no hair here, this does look lighter. And so this side, I may press a little more firm just to get the color to kind of look the same as it does over my brows. I'm wondering if I want to put this in my how-to series, which I upload my how-to videos, my beginner series videos, on Sundays. I just told you today was March 14th. Mm, it is not. May 14th. And I already have Sunday video scheduled till I think the... This is it the first or second Sunday in June? I think June 4th I have something scheduled. So if I put this there... You won't see this till the second or third Sunday in June. And as of right now, these are... I'm going to go ahead and post this because since I'm talking about it the way I am, because then it won't make sense. Um, because I don't always upload linear. And I'm trying to get better at that because even for me, it can be confusing. Like when I read comments, I'm like, what are they talking about? And so, and that is why I say the date in videos too, because I'd be like, when did I upload that? And I do have a spreadsheet that I put in, you know, what date, what time I upload stuff. And so when I'm thinking of when to upload stuff, I either look in my calendar on my phone or I look at the spreadsheet because then that's easier to get a bigger view of when is stuff going live. So this is all we're going to do for the brows. I do like when it's more pointed towards the end, but I'm usually not able to do that. And like, one side will be a point and the other side won't and the more I try to get it to look the same it's like it just goes further and further down the side of my face and so that's all we're going to do and because I keep my brows trimmed I don't need a spoolie or anything and that's why I like this brow pencil because one side has a brush so but it's not about uh tools <laughs> or what we're using this is eye cream I received this in the subscription box I used it once um, I'm going to use it again. Um, it did burn uh, temporarily for like 15 minutes and after, you know, then it stopped and I didn't have any reaction to it. I meant to put this on before my primer. Years ago, Wayne Goss did a trick or hack to help, to help your concealer not crease. And the hack was put on additional... I can smell this. Maybe that's what made it burn. I don't know. My eyes weren't burning. The skin under here was burning. The skin here was burning. And my eyes did tear a little bit. That's from the scent. And I could feel it now. Um, he said to put on a little bit of additional eye cream before you start your makeup. And then put on eye prime. 
eye primer underneath your eyes and then put on your concealer. Well, that does not always work because for the Estee Lauder, I put the concealer on after foundation. And so when you're hearing people talking about, you know, tips, tricks, also consider what is their usual method of how they apply makeup. And most concealers, you do put them on after your foundation. You use your color corrector and then your foundation and then concealer. Or some people spot conceal first and then put on foundation or use a color corrector and then use a concealer and then use a foundation. And again, it goes back to just using what you want to use, how you want to use it. And so there is no right or wrong way. They say there's no um, rules to make up. However, there is color theory. But for me, I have issues with color perception. And so color theory doesn't even work for me. And, you know, I'll plan out a look. And as I'm doing that look, I'm like, these colors don't go together. Like I have to visually see it together. Just seeing it in the pan does not always work because sometimes things show up a little different on my complexion than they do um, in the pan. And so I don't know if that's just me or my eye or my complexion or my undertone. Like I really don't know. Um, no Mad Cosmetics is notorious for showing up different on me than they look in the pan, most of their palettes. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what is this? But it still works though. So even if it shows up different, it's not just like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. This is a foundation I'm trying out. Um, and it is in a sample jar because I received the sample because I wanted to make sure it's expensive. So I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to have a bad reaction. I've only used it once so far. And this has a scent to it too, unless I'm still just smelling that eye cream. So I'm liking it. It is a sheer to light coverage. Um, hmm. But I think I'm liking it. And it is a hearty sample. As you saw, even though it looked like I put a lot, it's very watery. And so that little bit, even though it looked like a lot, like once you blend it in, it's really not a lot. And I still have a lot left in there, which is great. And so I was glad that she filled it up for me. I'm not going to put on any more. I'm liking how, to me, this looks natural. As it's drying down, my under eye discoloration is poking through. I do notice that. And it looks very natural. And that's what some people like about it. And I'm saying that because I can see this redness coming through right here. And a little bit of redness here. And a little bit of redness here and here so it is very natural because i do have redness i do have under eye discoloration but if i just put this on if it didn't change and as i'm looking at it my under eye discoloration is looking darker and darker not darker than before i put the foundation on but as the foundation is drying down in my under eyes it's like hey yeah we're still here you, you didn't hide us so i'm going to take a little bit of concealer um Hmm, because I don't want to put more of that. What, did I pick up the wrong one? Oh yeah, I did. So I don't want to put on more of the foundation, even though it is buildable. And as you see, it is a little luminous. However, once I um, put powder on, it may not. And I think this might be my first time putting concealer on with this foundation. As I said, I've only used it once before. I'm not going to put any on the face like around here because we're going to put powders and other things on and I do really think like this just looks natural and I've said before in videos if my face ever looked completely blanked out I would look like I was dead my face has a lot of character <laughs> that's, that's what I decide to call it. it has a lot of character a lot of personality and this concealer is full coverage and that foundation was not and this is just like whoa um hmm. so let me just bring this down <laughs> okay um thank you for being here to help me figure this out and thank you if you're watching if for clicking on a video because you could be watching anybody i think that looks better having run the concealer down and i normally don't even bring it down here but i'm just trying to get the color more <laughs> uniform because the under eye was it's looking very bright and this is not a brightening 
concealer. So I'm just like, what's happening? Um, and we are going to powder down. And that'll be it for the concealer. So I'm going to throw that away. I, I am liking this foundation. It's, it was polarizing. Some people really liked it. Some people didn't. But that's anything, really. So if you don't like something that other people are loving, it's okay. Because we all have different preferences and different tastes. And we're looking for products or wanting products to do different things. Like, I don't want my under eye brightened. But some people use concealers to brighten under eye. And this did brighten it. And I did not intend <laughs> to do that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because this normally doesn't brighten. So this this is this is interesting. So we're going to take a powder brush and we're going to... I'm, I'm grinning because this is an experience for me. Like, I am learning here. And I always appreciate it when you guys are here to help me learn, too. I have a question for you. I meant to ask you earlier. And I forgot to ask you. When you do your brows, or if you do your brows, do you do them before or after you do your eye makeup? That's the question. And why? If you do your brows before you do your eyeshadow look, why? If you do your brows after your eyeshadow look, why? And if you don't do your brows at all, I want to say I envy you, but then that goes against the crazy troll nation. Just embrace your natural features since I'm embracing my natural features. And I do think this foundation is a good match. Like if you... I, I'm liking this foundation. And this powder is because this is now empty. <gasps> oh, but I do have my backup open. <laughs> and so we're going to finish with that. If this doesn't feel dry all over, which it doesn't. So... Yeah, let me know your process also, not only with brows, but also um, trying to shake some of the powder out. With um, if you use concealers, if you use color correctors, how do you use that? Like, what order do you put them on your face, or do you just spot conceal? There is a, a, a concealer, excuse me for that stammer stutter thing. There is a concealer that I can use just to spot conceal. And that's it. And not even put on foundation, not even put on powder. Because it just blends in so seamlessly with my complexion. And I love that about that particular concealer. Someone did say when you put on a matte powder under eyes, sometimes it does accentuate your... Um, under eye discoloration because you're putting something matte over like a shimmery thing because even if a foundation is matte or demi matte or semi matte or whatever it still has a little luminosity to it and it's the shine that um, camouflages some of the discoloration because the light bounces off of it and so when you put a powder under here depending on the powder if it's a matte powder you're putting back that matteness and so but even with this I think this looks hella natural. And so the test will be, is this powder going to keep the foundation, the, excuse me, the concealer from creasing? And also we did put on the eye cream. And so I won't know, was it the eye cream or... That looks good. Like it is not creasing and it's not settling into my lines What's, what was my sentence <laughs> i will know if it's the powder or um the eye cream but i do remember from before when i put on eye cream then the eye primer under my eyes and then the concealer it did help prevent creasing but again i don't always put things on in that order you know what i mean because most foundations you put the found you put the foundation on first and then the concealers. I feel like I'm scattered in this video. I haven't done a video in like a week. And I'm like, okay, there are things I want to do. But I'm like, am I going to make sense? Like, just getting comfortable being here talking to you again. And the reason I'm talking slow in this video is because I'm trying to multitask. I'm not, not always good at that. So I'm trying to think of what cheek I want to do. Um, hmm. Because I don't want this to be super long. There was other things I was going to talk about. But I think we're just going to leave this video here. Because I don't want this to be another hour long video. What video did I do? Um, oh my gosh. What video was it? It aired not too long ago. 
and I wasn't paying attention to the time. Like when I'm looking right now, I'm looking at the time. When I'm looking here, I'm looking at me. When I'm looking here, I'm looking at the lens. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you, even though I don't really see you. Um, but I like even when I watch back videos, I'm like, yeah, okay, it does look like you're looking at the person you're talking to, which is over here. But to see what I'm doing, because my mirror's down here, so at least I'm looking up. I just use my um, viewfinder as a mirror. Where was I going with that? Excuse me for smacking. Where was... <laughs> I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh my gosh. I'll play this back and be like, what? Oh, the video. I happened to look up and I'm like, oh my God. Uh, it was it was long. It was like almost 50 minutes. And I really didn't know because I was just, you know, just talking to my thing. And I know some of you don't mind longer videos, but that's not why I do longer videos. It just turns out that way. But I looked up and saw like 47 minutes. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go. And then I just like cut the, <laughs> the recorder off. Because I really did not intend for that one to be that long. But I'm looking at this one like, okay, this is already like almost 20 minutes. And because I'm just constantly talking, there isn't going to be much to um, edit out. Because then my sentences won't make sense, even though I, I don't always make sense anyway. I am liking... I'm liking how the under eyes looking. Yes, when I smile, my wrinkles are popping out like, hey, what's up? How y'all doing? But aside from that, and that always happens regardless... But just, um, what am I looking for? Um, but just the coverage and it not creasing. I'm liking that. This is not the brush that I wanted. I, oh, <laughs> y'all don't even want to know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, just, I'm just, I'm just. I'm just, if you're new here, welcome. I don't even know what to tell you because I'm usually kind of this way. Um, but yeah, I'll do a quick clip after this one, maybe, because I, I did have things to show you um, and things to talk about, but I just wanted to do a base face first. And sometimes I do just do a base face separate, but then I'm like, I haven't done a video in a while, so let me just do the things and get comfortable sitting here talking to you. So we're going to take that same, no we're not, we're going to take a clean one. And I know what I want to do, so I don't need that brush. I haven't used this in a while, and I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Ooh. All right, let me pull out, one of these colors is so rich, and I'm just like, <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a, a cream glow base type thing and so that just goes there i'm hoping that shows up because when i look over there i see a wall and when i look over here i see my kitchen so <laughs> so when i play back videos i'm like looking like oh that looks nice because i can't see it right here so this is still just the cream base and yes we put this over top of powder so people say don't put you know stuff over top of powders look you do what you want to do okay we're going to take a clean one and we're going to go into this right here Ooh. it looks intense in a pan and it is and it can go real dark real quick and so i'm just patting it around i think for me the key is number one the brush i use when i put creams over powders and also not swiping because when i swipe then it picks up where you see where i just tapped it and it, it it's dark and then i just pat it out and then i'll go back with my powder brush after all is said and done just to blend more like around the edges, like this top edge here and, and here. And so when people say, you know, don't do this or don't do that, think about why they're saying it. And it may be true for them. It may be the product. It may be the brush. It may be their technique. And so I'm hoping this is showing you something different, something against the rules, even though there is no rule. Oh, that's dark. I saw this in the store and I'm like, I'm getting it. And I've had it for a little while now, but this color right here, and I swatched it in the store and I went around the store swatching it with other foundations. It's not foundations, girl. 
with other blushes and there was not a do for this i am turning the brush over to the side with no product because this this is getting away from me this is getting out of hand but when i look straight though because i have a pudgy face like it seems to like t taper in my face it brings a little structure to my face instead of just all the puff because i got a big face i was ready to say it curse word I was going to say I have a big butt face, but I wasn't going to say butt. So, whew, this right here. And this is why I don't use it a lot because I have to take time to, to make sure like the edges are blended. Now I'm just going around the edges because this, this is intense. This, this is intense. Oh my gosh. But I do really, really like it. And another reason I don't use it a lot is because usually I do like a dark eyeshadow look. And y'all know I love a dark lip. And so a dark eye and a dark lip. And with this, that, that's clownish. To me, that would be clownish. It's just like too much. Unless I just did a circle. And then I would be like editorial or something. <laughs> but th this is nice. I, I really like this. And I have to remember to go all the way back here. Because sometimes I'll notice like there's no color right here. And the same with when I use bronzer or contour. I have to make sure I come back to where my ear is. Otherwise, like all color just stops like right here. And it's just like what happened to the rest of your face and so that's why i'm taking it back to the hairline one of the joys of having short hair i wash it in the shower two or three times a week and it doesn't matter if my hair gets wet and so now we're going to take this is the, the blush kind of sort of i haven't used this in a long time oh this does tone it down some <gasps> she's so pretty have you ever used a product that you haven't used in a while and this helped blend out the edges too and then when you use it, it's just like, oh, that is why I love this so much. And actually, um, hmm, Dawn, hey girl, <laughs> uh, my declutter video, uh, forgives and for keeps or something it was called. She was saying how she might go to declutter, but then she'll find something that she hadn't used in a while. She'll realize she still loves it. And I'm not telling her business. Well, I am telling her business. But if you were to see that video and you and you were one of the people like me that reads comments, you'll see the comments. And so I'm not saying anything that she didn't say. And if I wasn't supposed to say that, one, I'm sorry. So sorry. One of my client's brothers would say that that way. He would go, so sorry. I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? Because <laughs> any other time he was loud and obnoxious. So he would be like, so sorry. So yeah, so sorry if that looks nice. And then it has the nerve to be a glow powder and I'm looking down cause that's where I accidentally dropped the other brush I was gonna use for this. So yeah, this is a little quad thing. Oh man, look at that. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get ready to end this video because this is almost 30 minutes. So let me know what you think about this style of video. Like me just being here and just talking. Like is it helping to entertain you? Is it just giving you something to listen to while you're driving? Or like are you like wow like I learned something new. I can put powders over liquids or you know whatever the case may be. But let me know. I do want to. I didn't put um the contour shade under here did I? I'm trying to see. I don't think I did. Oh, what am I? What's happening? All right, so we're going to take that same shade. Because usually I do bring it across my chin. And I'm looking like my chin doesn't look like it has anything on it. I don't know why. You know what? I do know why. I was going to say I don't know why I'm kind of scattered. It's because I haven't been here in a while. And so I'm just like, what am I doing? Oh, my stomach just grumbled. Uh, what are you guys having for dinner today? Well, for, for me, it's lunch, even though it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm nocturnal. I went to sleep this morning around 11, and I got up around 7-something in the evening. And I did have oatmeal with Vietnamese cinnamon for breakfast at, like, 9 o'clock at night. <laughs> so now I'm ready for lunch, and it is almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> the life of a troll. And I always put a little bit on my nose. Even though it doesn't seem to take the shine down, it still has a shine. And I think it's just how the light hits it. Hits the tip of my nose. So, looking at the under eye again. I am liking this. Wow. Hmm. I'm digging it. 
I'm not going to do a lip or anything. Just to be simple, here we are. We're going to put... I'm not going to put it on because I showed you and I didn't mean to because I forgot that I'm not showing you things. What I am going to do, which I probably shouldn't... No, I'm not going to do that either. We're just going to call it quits for this video. Thank you for being here. Let me know what you think of the base face and not saying what the products are. Do you prefer knowing what the products are? Do you prefer me saying what the brushes are as well? And let me know. Do you do your brows before or after your eyeshadow look? Let me know. Are you comfortable putting creams on top of powders and how that works out for you? And what was the other question? Oh, your concealer cover corrector. Cover corrector color corrector your concealer color corrector and foundation order how do you do that because some people do foundation and then put concealer on spot check spot check spot correct i need to go because i'm not making sense um so yeah so those are the three questions so just to recap super quick because i know that was just wacky do you do your brows before or after your eyeshadow look are you comfortable putting creams on top of powders for your concealer, color corrector, and foundation, what order do you put those three items on? Y'all see how I had to talk so slow to say all of that? Because otherwise my brain just be shooting off and then it just comes out of my mouth and it doesn't make sense. Thank you for being here. If you're new here, welcome. If you've made it this far and you enjoyed this video, Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. I would appreciate it. Sharing my videos are also appreciated as well as leaving comments. And I do reply back to everybody. And be sure to check out my other videos. If you are new here, I have a ton of playlists. And they are appropriately named. I know I said appropriately. Funny. So you can find what you want to look at and what you want to avoid looking at. But there's a lot of information down below and on my channel. A lot of links down below as well and stuff will pop up in the end cap for you to look at but for now as always self-acceptance self-love that is the crazy troll nation way thank you for being here and you will see me soon